you're going to see a comet that's a small body with a coma around it, basically a fuzzy blob. Now remember, space is big, nothing is ever really as close as you like, and all of these observations are very, very difficult. It's a little bit as if our NASA spacecraft were at a baseball game, watching the game from different places in the stadium. Everybody's got a camera and they're trying to get a picture of the ball, and nobody has a perfect view, and everybody has a different camera. Now, let's return to September and see the first images from the Psyche spacecraft. NASA's Psyche mission acquired four Psyche. broadband black and white images of the comet over the course of eight hours on September 8th and 9th, Just these the dot? The comet was about 33 million miles from the spacecraft at that time. And you can see in the image the uh, large frame where uh, the comet was seen at different times. Down in the bottom left is a blow up, a stack in addition of all of those observations. It's a pixel. The Psyche spacecraft is on its way to an asteroid in the main asteroid belt that's also named Psyche. And these images were the first captured from this perspective. Now, if you think in that lower left you're not seeing very much, just wait a minute, you'll see more. Now, the following week in September, the Lucy spacecraft observed the comet from the opposite direction. So let's take a look at the Lucy image. Lucy. This is another broadband black and white image made by adding up a series of individual Adopt. exposures that were taken on September 16th. Lucy is on its way to study asteroids that share Jupiter's orbit around the sun called the Trojan asteroids. So that. Lucy was 240 million miles away from 3I Atlas, which is circled in the center, when its high-resolution LoLaRe camera caught the comet. You can see the comet's coma, the fuzzy halo of gas and dust surrounding 3I Atlas, and its tail, a smudge extending to the right of the comet. What if tail? you were the Lucy spacecraft looking at the comet from this angle, the sun would be a little bit over your left shoulder, and so the comet tail is pointing away what from tail? the sun, as we've seen many times before in solar system comets. For scale, this image spans about one-third the width of the full moon, as you'd see it on the sky, of course, at the distance of the comet, that's a much, much larger region of space than the moon. Now, this looks a little different from the Psyche image. Part of that is because the cameras are different, and part is because of the ways the Psyche and the Lucy teams decided to show their images. But also, it's because we're seeing the comet from different directions. Seeing a comet's coma in different lighting geometries with the sun coming from different directions is one of the key ways to learn about the physical properties of the dust that's been He's reading. on the surface. And I want to emphasize that you do not get these views unless you have spacecraft farther from the sun than the comet is so that you can see it backlit. We could not get this view from the vantage point of the Earth. So combining the data yeah. from Lucy, Psyche, and Earth-based telescopes, scientists are hoping to better understand both the three-dimensional structure of the comet and the nature of the dust. It's a rare opportunity to compare ancient dust from a distant solar system to that from our own. Now let's go to the next picture from the MAVEN spacecraft at Mars. Beginning at the beginning it's of October, 3I Atlas passed within 20 million miles of Mars, which gave our Mars spacecraft an opportunity for a close-up. And earlier you saw the image that Ahmed shared from It's a Mars freaking spaceship! Orbit. MAVEN is another Mars orbiter That's that not has been the in the Martian atmosphere since 2014. Now, this picture is not a direct picture of the comet itself. It's a spectrum. You're seeing the, uh, the science wiggles that uh, Sean yeah. was just talking about. This is some of those science wiggles where the instrument, the spectrograph, the ultraviolet spectrograph on MAVEN has looked at the comet and also split up the ultraviolet light according to color. So you're seeing three different bands in this image. On the right, you're seeing emission from hydrogen gas in the atmosphere of mm -hmm. Mars. Uh, in the middle, sure. there's a fainter band uh, indicating that's coming from uh, hydrogen gas in interplanetary space, and on the left, that blob is the signature of hydrogen gas coming from comet 3I Atlas. Spaceship. It's a little blob rather than a big streak because it's a the freaking comet is a spaceship. small object in the sky relative to great big gigantic Mars and interstellar space that fills the entire field of the instrument. 
That definitely tells us, first of all, that the comet is there. Without if tail! There no comet, there would be no little blob on the left side of the image. But it's also telling us it's one of the many ways that we're able to discern the chemical composition. I'm not of listening to him. In this particular example, it's showing us the hydrogen gas that's coming off of, of the nucleus. Now, the European Space Agency's, Agency and, and NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, also successfully imaged the solar Tri atlas uh, it's from October 15th to 16th after it had passed Mars. And SOHO spotted the comet crossing its field of view it's the solar from telescope. 222 million miles away, or more than twice the distance of Earth from the Sun. Comet, comet 3 i Atlas was expected to be too faint for SOHO to see, but this result was made using detailed image processing and overlaying, or we call it stacking, subsequent telescope images. And this image <laughs> highlights the value of spacecraft and instruments designed to look I don't like directly to sleep. toward the sun, as Nikki was saying before, not only to study the sun, but also to have the ability to see other objects crossing, in this case, behind the sun. It's a freaking spaceship! Say, well, do you this was the first one. And they'll say, why don't you Mass reconnaissance say, mission. Well, really different. And it's you high rise, you're well, right, man. It's a crap, man. From someplace else. It was a different environment in Sumatra. Now, does that. You're right, does that man. Sip of coffee tell you everything about the weather in Sumatra and the soil and the people who. What did I say to you, man? Uh, bless them. They chose uh, the worst of ones. Not, but, it's, but it's different, and yet it's still coffee. And that's what we have in this case. We have. Uh, a cometary body, it behaves. It you're right, man. My apologies. You're right. It's high rise. It says system. here. And yet Mass it's reconnaissance. Exceedingly different in high rise. Ways. It does the same thing comet do. comets do. It evaporates carbon dioxide gas. It evaporates water. Um, but there's, it's evaporating more carbon dioxide compared to water. Came over so for them. A very interesting thing. Comets, uh, uh, kilometers per second. So what is that? That's about 25,000 miles an hour, I think. Um, and and 3i Atlas is coming through at a speed of 60-something kilometers per second. So that's three times faster than the average of our local needs of stars. High is, rise is, picture. Uh, an indicator of age. They shows the, the worst one. Older in our gal High rise is this one. I thought they were going to do the, the best one for... <laughs> Guys, honestly, this... I thought they would uh, do it better. You know what uh, I felt? You were saying they are sad, they are this and that. Exactly, man. They looked like that... Um, the moon... Remember the moon conference after the astronauts returned from the moon? The faces, the sad faces, like they were not telling what they really wanted to, to show to the, the world and tell to the world. That. Man, and all of the, these guys, I don't know, don't understand. They made all of this ceremony to release the pictures. They could just release that, that on Twitter and avoid themselves to be in such a constraint and cringe it was cringe it's the the name of it it was a cringe event man don't they realize how cringe they were 